Francisco. Katie Bose returned to work after maternity leave, only to be laid off. But she hadn't been back long enough to qualify for employment insurance. It didn't seem fair at all. I mean, I had the right to take that year off and to spend time with my baby. Without a second income, her family remortgaged their home. I just have hope that sharing my story can impact uh, the government to make these changes. Changes the NDP is also calling on the government to make. We have a responsibility for, to young families and to all of the children who uh, they care for to do better. The party wants benefits extended for people laid off on and shortly after parental leave, helping those who have used up their hours while caring for their child and have not worked enough to requalify. Six Quebecers are before the federal courts fighting for this as well, alleging the government is discriminating against working moms. By denying women these EI regular benefits because they've received EI, uh, maternity and parental benefits, these women are experiencing blatant discrimination. In question period, the NDP criticized the Liberals. New moms shouldn't have to cannibalize their EI benefits to get a mat leave, and the government shouldn't have to wait for a court order to do the right thing. So when are these Liberals going to get the job done and end this discrimination against women? Mr. Speaker, I appreciate my colleagues' advocacy on this important issue. We have spoken about the ongoing work of modernizing our EI system, and our government continues to make progress on this. The Liberals have been promising EI reform for years. With the NDP holding a balance of power in this parliament, they will continue to use their leverage to try to push for change ahead of a spring budget and the next election. David Thurton, CBC News, Ottawa.